hard. Sorry, babe. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, just gone 5.30 a.m. Um, had to wait till I got out of the house to do any kind of vlogging because you you saw how well that went over. Uh, anyway, I'm down to the beach to do some, uh, uh, maybe some long exposure photography. Um, I'm not sure what kind of sunrise we're going to have this morning. All right, guys, so I'm down here at Deerfield Beach, um, the pier right behind me. Um, kind of a weird morning, kind of hazy out on the horizon, um, but maybe some good clouds there too that will really start popping here in a few minutes. So uh, let's go see what we can get. So this is the weirdest sunrise ever. Um, we're only about two or three minutes away from sunrise and it's like completely devoid of color. Um, so I'm doing some long exposures. So those are always good for uh, when there's not a lot of color uh, to just turn them into black and white. So we'll see how they turn out. But um, hopefully the colors start to pop here in a few minutes, but it's not looking good. I'm already down at the beach this morning. Um, just probably the absolute worst sunrise I think I've ever photographed. There's uh, just devoid of all light, no color in the sky, big cloud bank out on the horizon, and just kind of a weird haze in the air today. And on top of that, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's the virus and the fact that beaches have been closed so much lately that there are just tons of people down at the beach, uh, more so than ever before. Um, entire families down at 6 15 6 30 in the morning so it was hard to get a shot without a bunch of people in it um including some old guy riding around in a big rubber duck um so yeah anyway <laughs> it's all part of it and uh you know it's a day in the life we're supposed to have some uh thunderstorms later this afternoon so hopefully those develop and uh we can go out and get some lightning shots all right um i'm gonna go home and do some editing of some photos and uh yeah i'll be back later bye hey guys well i just finished um, editing some of the photos that i took this morning you know considering how bad of a sunrise it really was um i think the photos turned out okay but i'm gonna put them up on the screen right now and uh, let you guys be the judge so leave me some comments let me know what you thought thanks Hey guys, I just checked the radar. There's some storms really starting to form out there. So I'm grabbing my camera and I will get back to you as soon as I get to my first location. I am always late to the party, so I don't want to miss it. All right, nothing much going on there as far as lightning goes, just other than some some cool looking clouds I got some good pictures of but uh, uh, not what I was looking for so let's uh, let's move on to the next spot and wait for the next storm hopefully all right here I am in location number two I got a storm right there behind me um, kind of feel like it's weakening though a little bit so but I'm gonna wait here for a little while and see what happens I'm kind of nervous because a lightning and B I'm right by this freshwater grass and for anybody who's been in Florida knows that there could be an alligator in there. So two of my number one rules are careful of lightning, careful of alligators. And here I am doing both. So I'm shooting with my Sony a7R 3 today and my lens is the Sony 70-300. to I also have my Myops trigger hooked up here. Um, I have it set to a really high sensitivity level since we're in the daytime. Problem with that is that it keeps picking up birds and bugs and firing off shots. Uh, so no lightning yet, but lots of birds and bugs. Well, I just checked the radar. I've been here about 15 minutes. The storm's completely fizzled out um, and moving away from me. Um, so I'm going to pack it up for now, and hopefully we get some uh, good storms later on this afternoon. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, so I've come out to location number three. Uh, you can see there's a storm brewing behind me there. Uh, not much happening as of yet, but uh, fingers crossed.
Well, it looks like that storm's going to head out uh, west towards Lake Okeechobee. And uh, according to my friend Dan, who um, is almost never wrong about uh, weather patterns, um, the uh, sea breeze is going to collide with the gulf breeze and it's going to really pop out there. So I'm going to pack it up and uh, head about 25, 35 miles west of here and see, uh, see if anything happens. All right, so let's go. All right, so I'm 0 for 3 now. I'm going to head out towards Lake Okeechobee, see if anything happens out there. Um, looks like it's going to. Um, I just can't stand out in that sun anymore. The feels like temperature is about 106 degrees right now with the humidity. And, uh, man, this Lyme disease is kicking my ass. I've only been active here for about an hour and a half, and I feel like I've been going all day. But uh, I'm going to push on, see what happens, okay? All right, we'll be back in a bit. Bye. All right, I'm to my fourth location now, and I'm probably about 10 miles away from Lake Okeechobee. I uh, couldn't really make it out there because the road was a little bit flooded and just didn't feel comfortable driving through that. So I pulled off to the side of the road and got some massive storms building up over the lake right now. So it should be about a half an hour or so, but surely I'm going to get something out of this. All right, guys, look at all this epicness. All right, guys, I got a couple lightning bolts. They weren't the best captures ever, but uh, hey, anytime you get one bolt, it's, uh, it's awesome. So um, I'm gonna get out of here. The storm is right on top of me. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here before it starts pouring down rain. So, but check this out before we go. Wow, what a long day. So it's about midnight right now. Um, I just got done editing those photos of the storm that I took out of the lake this evening. I um, think I got some pretty good ones, but I'm going to put those up on the screen, so let me know what you think about those. Uh, but definitely had a good time chasing that storm all around uh, South Florida today. And some really exciting information. Um, I'm going to be offering three different workshops at three different locations. Um, I've updated my website to give you a little bit more information. It's uh, pc3photos.com. I'm not quite ready to go live with it yet, mainly out of safety concerns because of the coronavirus situation spiking again really bad here in Florida. Um, so hopefully Florida can do the right thing, mask up, and let's protect each other and get this virus over with. And uh, anyway, more information to come very soon on the workshops. Uh, so I hope you guys had fun following along on my adventures today. Um, I definitely had a blast making this uh, video for you. So. I will see you back here this time next week on this channel. In the meantime, mask up, stay safe, protect each other, and uh, we'll see you again next week. Thanks, guys. Have a great week. Bye.